hey guys welcome back um i got this short video for you um i bought this cooler for 20 dollars off amazon so let me show you how to install the quarig m9 um, cpu cooler right this is the one for amd right so This whole package when it relates to the AMD type CPUs basically you'll be using these four mounting screws with four nuts that hold the the back plate which is here and here in place when you're actually um, setting up the system it has two oriented screws that are two oriented nuts that position the fan itself or the not the fan i'm sorry the blade or the cooling apparatus to the different directions that you want it meaning if you want it to blow down downwards towards your gpu or outwards towards the back of the cpu to the back of the the case itself you can mount it that way the main fan here right um also has the logo on it right this is held in place by two basic pins so to speak these two pins actually hold the fan securely on this um plate here itself there's something particular that i wanted to show that is very interesting on the back or the bottom of the the um cooler itself the cryo did a very unique thing it put i don't know if you can see it well but there is a nickel base finish on this part here with grooves so i think with that doing it allows for the heat transfer to move a little bit easier or quicker from the cpu to the to the actual um, f um cooler itself right there are two um noise dampening strips right that go in between where the fan and the cooler are are mounted um so this is what basically comes in a package the next thing i'm going to show you guys is how to put this all together all right for this section guys we need to remove um four screws so this screw right here this one this one over there and that one those four screws need to be removed for us to use the mounting strips right um when we are installing the other the the cryo backplate we are going to be mounting it in a fashion like this for this next part we'll be using this screw here and we'll mount them in these four areas as you can see along the motherboard right there right so um i'll save you the trouble of doing that so let me just speed up a little bit it's really a simple install once you've had the screws you line up the areas that you need right um and there as you go once the the plates are lined right it should look like that right then you will now attach these four now well screws again are not on the on each end of these screws right as you go along um do them in a yeah i would say a butterfly pa <laughs> a butterfly pattern right um some people call it something different still but there you go um uh, right so each one goes on each area there so basically that's the back plate that um sorry about that that we've installed so far now what I was telling you before about the orientation the fan can be oriented like this it can be oriented like that 
any direction that you choose where the airflow is going to be coming that way you can decide so you can make it you can mount it like this so that the airflow goes to the back or you can mount it like that so the airflow is go airflow goes up or whichever direction that you would want that to be in so let's go ahead and do that mounting so took the liberty of installing everything so here's the final um, setup right the fan is oriented to push towards the um, the back of the case right it makes clearances with the motherboard as you can see it's not as close um, what I like about this particular fan too is that it is not as big and as bulky as the other type fans right it's I think it's a 120 millimeter fan right and it is very geared towards small factor systems right um, it's not a bad um, cooler altogether right um, even when you turn it on and it's spinning the Cryreg um, logo is there looks good um, right so there's a the little thing these are the hooks that that I was telling you about right they go into where the screw mounts would be and then they hook into this part of the cooler itself right um, and it's a fairly simple install right you'll enjoy it um, it it's it's twenty dollars guys on Amazon um, it is much better than the the stock um, systems that the stock coolers that you'll get from AMD right and if you want to overclock this is the way to go all right I hope you like the video like share um, subscribe you know the works enjoy